Hello everyone, part seven of Roll Dolls the Twits. This is part seven, so if you haven't seen the other videos, go back and watch them. If you've got this book and you're following along with me, I'm on page 57. The Muggle Wump has an idea. This was the picture that we left off with. As soon as Mr. and Mrs. Twip had, twi had disappeared down the road, the monkeys all flipped back onto their feet and right away, quick, quick, get the key, Mugglewump called out to Roly Poly Bird, who was still sitting on the roof of the house. What key? shouted Roly Poly Bird. The key to the door of our cage, cried Mugglewump. It's hanging on a nail in the work shed. That's where he always puts it. The Roly Poly Bird flew down and came back with the key in his beak. Muggle One, this is Muggle One here, reached a hand through the bars of the cage and took the key. <gasps> he put it in the lock and turned it and the door opened. All four monkeys leapt out. We're free, cried the two little ones. Where shall we go, Dad? Where shall we hide? Don't get excited, said Muggle Wump. Calm down, everyone. Before we escape from this beastly place, we have one very important job to do. Ah, oh, can you guess what that job is? I think he's a very kind monkey, so he's not just worried about himself and his family. Who else has a problem with the twits? The birds, right? What, they asked. We're going to turn those terrible twits upside down. We're going to do what? They cried. You must be joking, Dad. I'm not joking, Mugglewump said. We're going to turn both Mr. and Mrs. Twit upside down with their legs in the air. Don't be ridiculous, said Roly Poly Bird. How can we possibly turn those two maggoty old monsters upside down? We can, cried Mugglewump. We're going to make them stand on their head for hours and hours, perhaps even for ever. Let them see what it's like for a change. How? said Roly Poly Bird. Just tell me how. Mugglewump laid his head to one side. A tiny twinkly little smile touched the corner of his mouth. Now and again, but not very often, I have a brilliant idea and this is one of them. Follow me, friends, follow me. He scampered off towards the house and the three other monkeys and Roly Poly went after him. Buckets and paintbrushes, cried Mugglewump. That's what we want next. There are plenty in the workshop. Hurry everyone, get a bucket and a paintbrush. Inside Mr. Twit's workshed, there was an enormous barrel of, what do you think? Hug tight sticky glue. The stuff he had used for catching birds. Fill your bucket, Mugglewump ordered. Now we're going into the big house. I know what he's going to do. What are they going to do? Mrs. Twit had hidden a key at the front door under the mat, the doormat, and the Mugglewump had seen her doing it, so it was easy for them to get in. In they went, all four monkeys, with their buckets of sticky glue. Then came in Roly Poly Bird flying in after them with a bucket in his beak and a brush in his claws. Ah, you want to see the picture? Here they go, they're going into the house. Here comes a new chapter. The Great Glue Painting Begins. Well, that chapter's a good title. We know what it's about. This is the living room, announced Mugglewump. The grand and glorious living room where the two fearful, frumptious freaks eat bird pie every week for supper. Please don't mention bird pie again, said Roly Poly Bird. It gives me the shudders. We mustn't waste time cried Mugglewump. Hurry up, hurry up. Now, the first thing is this. I want everyone to paint sticky glue all over the ceiling. Cover it all. Smear it from every corner. Over the ceiling, they cried. 
Why the ceiling? Oh, stop and think about why the ceiling? What, if they paint sticky glue all over the ceiling, how is that going to help? Remember, he wants to turn them upside down. Never mind why, shouted Mugglewump. Just do as you're told and don't argue. But how do we get up there, they asked. We can't reach. Monkeys can reach anywhere, shouted Mugglewump. He was in a frenzy of excitement now, waving his paintbrush in his bucket and leaping out all over the room. Come on, come on, jump up on the table, stand on the chairs, hop on each other's shoulders. Roly-poly can do the flying. Don't stand there gaping. We have to hurry. Don't you understand? Those terrible twits will be back any moment, and this time they'll have guns. Get on with it, for heaven's sake, get on with it. And so the great glue painting of the ceiling began. All the other birds who had been sitting on the roof flew in to help, carrying paintbrushes in their claws and beaks. There were buzzards, magpies, rooks and ravens, and many, many more. Everyone was splashing away like mad with so many helpers. The job was finished very quickly. See them? See them painting? Over here. <gasps> this chapter is called, I'll show you, The Carpet Goes on the ceiling. Ah, now I'm starting to see what's going to happen. What now, they all said, looking at Mugglewump. Aha, cried Mugglewump. Now for the fun. Now for the greatest upside down trick of all time. Are you ready? We're ready, said the monkeys. We're ready, said the birds. Pull out the carpet, shouted Mugglewump. Pull this huge carpet out from under the furniture and stick it on the ceiling. On the ceiling, Daddy, cried one of the monkeys. That's impossible. I'll stick you to the ceiling if you don't be quiet, snapped Mugglewump. He's dotty, they cried. He's balmy, he's batty, he's nutty, he's sloopy. He's wacky, cried Roly-Poly Bird. Poor old Muggles has gone off. Off his wump at last. Oh, do stop shouting such rubbish and give me a hand, said Mugglewump, catching hold of one of the corners of the carpet. Pull, you nitwits, pull. The carpet was enormous. It covered the entire floor from wall to wall. It had a red and gold pattern on it, and it was not easy to pull an enormous carpet off the floor when the room is full of tables and chairs. Pull, yelled Mugglewump, pull, pull, pull. He was like a demon hopping around the room telling everyone what to do. But you couldn't blame him. After months and months of standing on his head with his family, he couldn't wait for the time when the terrible twits would be doing the same thing. At, la at least that's what he had hoped. With the monkeys and the birds all pulling and puffing, the carpet was dragged off the floor and finally hoisted onto the ceiling. And there it stuck. All at once, the whole ceiling of the living room was carpeted in red and gold carpet. Well, what is his plan? He's putting carpet on the ceiling. I don't understand. I wonder if you have any ideas. Okay, that's the end of that chapter. Well, that section.